You're at Rodeo Houston. We think you're going to watch the competitions a little differently after seeing this story. Yeah, because it's all about volunteers working behind the scenes, ready to jump into action if there's an emergency. Our health reporter, Haley Hernandez, has a look at those medical workers who are watching out for everybody out there. Haley? That's right, guys. You remember last week when we saw a chuck wagon driver fell off of a wagon. We saw just what kind of emergencies can happen at the rodeo. Whether or not it's a horse rider, a bull rider, a bull fighter, there are 30 medical professionals who show up every single night to care for these guys, all of them just volunteering. Looks like it's going to happen. Cowboy is synonymous with being tough. Broke some bones in my neck, pushed up in, in between the gates, kiss your normal everyday stuff. The contestants you watch every night are in the middle of their season, sometimes leaving for other states between competitions in Houston. Uh, last year I worked 110 performances, it means I stepped into the arena 110 different times and fought bulls. Here to keep them healthy, doctors like Houston Methodist Taylor Brown. They tend to be very tough, as most professional athletes are, but then they're not on a team, they don't get a salary, they all paid a entry fee, they don't get that money back and they don't get paid anything unless they ride and so the vast majority of rodeo athletes are barely breaking even at the risk of breaking bones and no force in this world can keep a cowboy on the sidelines the forces that they see is more than what a fighter pilot sees for what we do the opportunity to win this much money and come to a rodeo this prestigious death is about the only thing that would keep a cowboy from Houston from jumping on bulls to doctors standing invisible nearby all are sacrificing something for the love of the sport. It was a great ride. So Dr. Brown compares getting hit by one of those animals to getting hit by a car. He says that he sees common injuries of getting shoulders pulled out of sockets, concussions. All of this, again, they're working with no compensation. But of course, if there were an injury like a neck injury, a spine injury, that is something he says that they would have that patient transported to the medical center for. Reporting live, I'm Haley Hernandez, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank